Hey gang. Well, as you all know, it is the last day of 2015, but of course that depends on when you watch this video. It could be the first day of 2016, or the 14th day of 2016, or the first day of 2017, who knows. But since it is New Year's Eve 2015, I'm going to do like I did last year. I'm going to tell you guys a weird incident story that happened to me earlier this year. And if you're wondering where I'm at, I'm hanging out in Reno's room. And uh, he's uh, kind of sitting across from me in case I might screw up sub parts of the story because he was actually there when the whole thing went down. And uh, <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll tell you, uh, and uh, I got to say in all honesty, I don't know if this is going to top last year's weird incident story, but if you want to go check it out and then see this one again and kind of compare the two, you know, love to hear from you guys. Uh, so this happened around September earlier this year, of course, obviously. And uh, this is back when Steve was living with us still. And Steve got invited to go to Magazine, which is about a 10-minute drive, about a 30-minute bike ride, and a very long walk. And I've experienced all three. And preferably, I prefer to ride there in a vehicle <laughs> to get there. Uh, so Steve had his moped, which some of you who might have seen the uh, Zach Meets the Possessed moped video, you know which one I'm talking about. Very nice-looking moped. And honestly, I've never really seen mopeds look quite that nice. I mean, growing up, mopeds looked like little things, a little seat, little basket on the front, on the on the back, and all that, and everything like that. But this was this was nice looking. So he comes in and asks Reno if he wants to go along, and Reno's like, yeah, I got nothing to do. I'll go along. And uh, so they head down there to see uh, Steve's daughter, Destiny, uh, do cheerleading for sixth grade football team. Actually, we watched Austin play first, our younger son. Who's the younger son? Crystal's. I didn't say anything about Crystal yet. Well, he didn't go to see Destiny. He went to go see his. He went to go see all of the games. Okay. Well. All right. See, so that's that's why I have him here because he's supposed to correct me. Uh, but anyway, Steve went. Steve went down there. They had a good time. They were gone about probably about two or three hours, and I'm thinking, you know, I was like, okay, well, give me an opportunity to get the house cleaned up, and of course, I'm texting my wonderful, beautiful wife Sarah and. Given, you know, telling her what's happening and everything like that. And then, you know, before it got too dark, they showed back up. And Reno is not in a very good mood. I didn't hear him for a little while until, you know, I heard a little bit of talking and stuff like that. So I, so I came in here and I'm looking at Reno and he's just, he's not happy. I'm looking at St Steve, he's grinning from ear to ear. So I thought... I think I better ask Steve what's happening because Reno doesn't look like he's going to be talking to anybody for a little bit. So so I asked Steve what happened, and he says, well, you know, he we went on the moped, and he said, well, you know, there's only about two ways to ride on a moped. You can either uh, grip your hands on the sides of the moped or you can put your hands on the waist of the, of the driver. I said, yeah, and I'm guessing you put your hands on Steve's sides or something like that, right, on the way down there? Right, okay. <laughs> no, no. Hang Wait, on now. No? I'll put it on the side of the seat, but still. Okay. When you're sitting on that moped, you look like your your legs are pretty much right around him almost. Okay. See, again, that's why I needed him here. Uh, so they're riding down there, and, you know, according to Reno, because he finally spoke up, because I guess Steve messed up a few times like I have been in this story. Uh, apparently there were people driving by on the opposite side in the opposite direction, I guess, heading towards Boonville and they're heading towards magazine. And apparently, uh, several people were driving by looking at both of these two riding on the moped and apparently pointing, laughing, staring the whole nine yards. And Reno got really upset over that, you know, but of course at the game, you know, Crystal, Steve's ex came over and, uh, talked to them for a little bit and... Apparently this upset Crystal's husband, but one of these days I'm going to see if Reno will, will tell the story of the time he met Crystal's current husband, which is a funny story you guys got to hear one of these days. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and we'll probably tell another story of, a, of our last day in Mulberry because that was, an, that was a pretty crazy experience, a crazy day too. Helped me in for a long night. <laughs> but, uh, but... So they so they get there and everything like that and you know Reno is just fuming mad and and you know Reno wears a button up shirt he always wears it down towards his stomach and 
So I, I guess he didn't think about the shirt he, was, he chose to wear to the game, which, according to Steve, was pink. I, I thought it was almost like salmon colored, honestly. Well, it got brought up first by Crystal. Okay, so Crystal brought it up first. She told her son Austin, she says, do you recognize the guy in the pink shirt? Yeah. And um, so, Serena's fuming mad about wearing this supposedly pink shirt, and Steve is on his case about it, like, all the time, you know. I was like, you shouldn't have worn a pink shirt, shouldn't have worn a pink shirt, da 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 and finally, Reno says something that just really surprised me and really just blew, blew my mind and shocked me. He finally he finally just almost like gets up in Steve's face and says, it's not a pink shirt, it's maroon. Steven, you are not drunk. <laughs> it's not like Steve, excuse. Steve, Steve and I were silent for like five minutes, no joke. And we were like, huh? And Reno was silent too after he said that because I think he realized what he just said and he, and he was like that was probably the most unmanly thing I could say <laughs> so so yeah so he, he just sits back down and he kind of goes like oh my god what did I just say <laughs> and you you would think me I, I kind of tease Reno about you know him calling a pink shirt a maroon shirt for a few hours you know just, just teasing and Reno would laugh about it Steve let it go for ever, uh, and yeah. So that so that was that's my weird incident story of 2015. I want to share with you guys. And uh, again, I don't know if it's going to top last year's, but who knows? Uh, I want to thank you guys for uh, supporting this channel. I want to thank all my new subscribers for uh, for uh, subscribing to this channel. And I hope you guys have a great 2016, a safe 2016. Uh, and, you know, of course, hey, if you like my videos, hit that subscribe button down below, and we'll see where things go in 2016. I'm going to try and tell a lot more stories, and probably about half of them involve Reno in some way or another. So, thank you guys for watching, and to my wonderful, beautiful wife, Sarah, I cannot wait for you to be home, and I love you with all my heart. See you guys later, and as always, stay strong, and rock on.